So the lipid layer here in the roasting tin of the dish is not evenly distributed. You've got unmelted lipid, particularly by there. Uh, there's a lump of butter which hasn't melted. There's some other bits there which haven't melted. And there. And you get this sort of um, opacification and hazy lipid when it hasn't melted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. And how will I get it to evenly distribute? Uh, without gloopy bits in, what we'll do is, because it's a phase sensitive um, uh, situation with lipid chemistry, we'll warm it up and then it will clarify, just like ghee. So I boil the kettle. Here's the kettle over here. It's my cup of tea, just a uh, Cardiff mug. There's the kettle, just uh, steaming away nicely. We'll take that and watch the lipid layer when we put up the ambient temperature of the underlying substrate by adding boiling water to the roasting tin. Now let's watch what happens to the lipid layer by putting the temperature up. I'm irritated by this now, so I'm going to give it a bit of a stir. But we won't use um, the brush with detergent on, we'll just use a wooden spoon. So we'll zip over to the wooden spoons over here. There's that one, it's quite good, quite long. Back into the sink, and we'll give that a bit of a stir up, just like blinking. So if you're blinking a lot, you'll stir up the precornial tear film, lipid layer, etc., etc. And uh, with a bit of blinking, so there's my lipid layer, and I'm going to leave that for a while to evenly distribute. But it's clarifying. You can see most of them, like mutton fat KPs. Now there's a bit that's uh, quite solid still in the middle here, just there. We'll watch that for a second and see if it uh, clarifies with the temperature change. But no, it's not. Maybe the lipid chemistry in that bit is slightly different. Anyway, overall, it's doing its thing. And we've got a lipid layer there. <coughs> So now we're going to do the detergent thing. 